So Kant's categorical imperative states that act only on that maxim which you can will into universal law. In essence, what, what conse a weird consequence of this is, is that your behavior determines a set of rules. Not your intentions, not your desires, but a set of rules by which everybody acts. So this leads to a question. Right? What would the world be like if everyone acted like you? And consider your behavior and imagine everybody behaves the same way that you do. You can consider circumstances, okay. But in those circumstances, how do you behave? And what would that what would the world look like if everyone behaved like you did in all the circumstances? Well, let's consider our friend here. This is becoming a widespread event, a widespread phenomenon, where people are exaggerating on their resumes. And I'm not accusing anybody, at least not you know, outright. <laughs> but there are some people that think this is a perfectly legitimate way to go. Like, oh, okay, I mean, maybe you have your reasons. But again, const a categorical imperative does not consider your reasons, intentions, or anything like this. Only that your behavior right, would determine a set of rules by which everybody else would also behave. So everyone else would also exaggerate their resumes. And what would the world be like if everyone did that? Resumes would be useless. And we're fast coming to that point. Everything on the resume would be useless. Your education, your work experience, you know, all even everything that, that on there that's actually true would be useless because everybody's lying on their resume and resumes can't be trusted. Hmm. What about kitten fishing? If everybody started kitten fishing, no matter what, you know, what your reasons, okay, you're lonely, okay, I, I get it. Or you're trying to find love, I get it, I'm not knocking the purpose, and neither is Khan, right? You can have your purposes, that's fine. But your actions will determine whether this is moral. If everybody were to engage in kitten fishing, well then trying to find romance through these apps would be useless. Everyone would be lying, you couldn't trust the apps. The internet troll. <laughs> Frankly, it's just self. It's just a self-defeating act to try to change somebody's mind by berating them online. Even if you have good reason, you never change anybody's mind by berating them online or even face to face. I mean, how many times has it actually worked where you just absolutely humiliated and defeated somebody by showing that their reasons were poor from the beginning and they shouldn't have even question raise it you just ground them into the dirt and then you walk away and say gosh i'm really glad you did that you really helped me change my mind no you know if everybody started berating everyone with whom they disagree what kind of war would that be like divisive angry pointless to even have discussions online well so here's the thought Right? Here's the question. Do you think the world should be like you? If you're engaging in these behaviors, do you think everybody, are we actually better off this way? I mean, maybe it's self-defeating, maybe it isn't. I mean, suppose it's still self-defeating. Are we better off berating each other online and lying kit fishing and, and uh, lying on resumes? Well, if you don't think the world is actually better off being like you, then maybe, just maybe, act different.